So just a heads up, Google thinks that I'm such a genius at how to get unlimited leads list that it ranked me on the first page of Google for the video I did 21 hours ago for that. Anyway, this video is about how to turn your first outbound message into a warm message or how to convert cold leads into to warm leads with one freaking message, okay? So it's a three-step process. I'm also gonna show you this right here. So I know what you're thinking. <clears throat> wow, this is an extremely long message. Aren't we usually taught not to send long messages? Yes, and usually I would teach that as well, but with this formula, you want the long message. It helps with pre-qualification, it helps with conversions, and since you do it in these three steps, they will answer. Okay, so now watch this. It says, step one, show them a visual with images or uh, videos. That's what I meant to put. And if you want this uh, uh, right here, guys, all you have to do is text the number and the pinned comment. All right, and uh, we'll send this to you for free, okay? So first, show them a visual with images or videos. They either recognize or inspire curiosity. This will encourage them to actually read longer scripts. So what do I mean by that? Okay. So this one says right here, these two offers are the reason my agency wins 15K to 17K clients weekly effortlessly. And if you want to see what I'm talking about, we'll come over here to my actual agency. Like we don't even have to do a lot of outbound stuff because we have our own affiliate army, but we'll talk about that later. But we stroll down here, guys. And you'll see we have the 15K offer uh, to build their army of trained affiliates. These are commission-only affiliates. And then we have uh, habits of where we can build their own online bank. This is for local businesses and everything. All right, so we actually follow this formula. So what we do when a, first, when a person first opens their message, they don't know you and they can't actually visualize what you're talking about unless they read all of this. So to help them visualize it, we just send them visuals of it. So I sent them this screenshot right here, okay, of a bank that we built out for a client, okay? And then, hold on, then I sent them a screenshot right here of my anti-job affiliate army so they can know what an affiliate um, uh, platform looks like. Okay. So it's like Max Bounty, ClickBank, uh, ClickBank. Now with those visuals right there, that makes them a little bit more curious or interested to read what the text is saying. So now how do we start it off? See, this is, it's a formula to everything. So number two, at the beginning of subject lines. So yes, this works for email too. At the beginning of subject lines are DM scripts, name drop, direct competitors, are similar brands to give them confirmation of your industry knowledge. So a lot of times when you inbox somebody or email them, they know that you're doing a blast. People aren't stupid. They know that you're doing some type of outreach or some type of blast, but they know that you move so fast that you might not even have inside knowledge of what they actually need. So why would they read all of that? So at the beginning, we start off by name dropping. OK, so of course we have their actual name, but then we name drop somebody that they know. So Alex Harmozy just had a live event. And it's one of the biggest marketing events in a long time. Hundreds of thousands of people were watching that. So I name dropped that, right? Okay. <laughs> and then I hit them with a pain point. I know a lot of people do a lot of outbound and everything. So it says my agency gets thousands of inbound leads and awesome outbound results. Why? Because of our unique offers. So remember the visualization of the unique offers right here and their high ticket. So the salivation is starting to happen in the glands. Okay. So now, now what next? All right. So this helps with skepticism and trust. So if you know their direct competitors, and if you know the famous, the top brands or whatever, and you have inside knowledge, it helps like, okay, well, at least this person did research before they reached out to me. They know a little bit more than I thought. Now we hit them with step three. This is awesome, right? Combine IR with F-O-M-O. -O. So what is that? IR is the irresistible offer. So you want to combine 
uh, the irresistible offer with the fear of missing out. So how do you do that? What does that look like in play? So now you guys are starting to see why the script is longer than usual because of the three, uh, the three steps of this formula right here. So the irresistible offer can be an offer stack like that uh, uh, takes them away from pleasure. I mean, takes them away from pain and runs them towards pleasure. Plus it does risk reversal. OK, or risk aversion, whatever one you want to call it. OK, so that's the irresistible offer. All right. Offer stack plus risk aversion. All right. And then the fear of missing out. You combine that with the call to action. So all of that combined is the call to action. Let me show you that in in uh, live in effect. OK, so we say, what if you could offer clients their own banking system to control wages of employees and customers. So like, remember what I told you guys, remember at the beginning it says we get a lot of uh, good results with our outbound. Why? Because our offers are unique. If you're offering AI automation to every single person and everybody else in the group is offering the same thing, even though there's a lot of businesses in the world, chances are you guys are sending, you know, you're scraping the same list. So you're sending the same messages to everybody. <laughs> This is why you have to send a million messages in order to get one appointment. We don't want that. So while this is still new, we're allowing you guys to sell a couple of our offers, okay? So we show them how to uh, control their own banking system that allows them <clears throat> to uh, still earn from clients uh, our customers when they leave and from the employees. So they'll be issuing their own uh, debit cards to employees, paying their uh, employees on debit cards. So when the uh, when their employees swipe their credit cards or debit cards or whatever, they're still getting paid. When they make online purchases, they're getting paid from their employees. When their customers, if their customers take the issue debit cards through an incentive program, same thing with them. So they don't even have to come into the establishment to make money from it. So we talk about this on the event that we're inviting these people to. So let me proceed. So it says, what if you could offer them a 15 K two uh, fifteen thousand fifteen dollar 250 commission only army of affiliates now here's so that was that was the irresistible offer that's what like oh damn that's something different i know that if i'm doing outreach with something like that the way that uh your guys real and profit positioning agency does it i know i'm going to get a better response because these companies these local businesses never heard of anything like that before all right so watch this now here's the fear of missing out there's 50 other agencies on this event this week. I'll show you this offer also. All right. So I don't, I see a lot of you guys asking um, uh, yes or no questions and stuff. Now, if a person doesn't want to deal with you, they don't have to deal with you. If they don't want to attend the event, they don't have to. But you guys are making it so easy for people to turn you down. Don't give uh, uh don't ask yes or no questions okay don't say are you interested don't say um uh, can we talk or or um uh, you know what i'm saying <laughs> would you like or, or, or none of that those are all questions like for some reason people's brains are set to know they're like negative just by by default so even if they are interested if you give them an out the fear or the skepticism is going to get them to choose the out more times than not. So I don't ask uh, yes or no questions, guys. All right. So I, I hit them with a little bit of fear of missing out. I let them know there's 50 other agencies on this event this week. How would uh, I'll show you how to do this also. OK, how to offer these also. Then I give them choices but these are not yes or no. These are like multiple choice <laughs> selection type stuff. So it says Thursday or Friday. So those are the two days we're having an event on. Then I say which event. So you want to say what, where, when, how, uh, you know, like why wouldn't, you know, those, those, type of, those type of questions. You don't want to ask yes or no questions. Uh, you know, when this week could we speak for five minutes, even though they could say never, you know, like it's it still forces them to think a little bit more of a day maybe that they have open or a little time slot. Uh, then you give them suggestions. If you're smart, you'll give them suggestions. OK, we got Thursday and Friday open and it makes it seem as if you assumed 
the sale. Like you're so confident, like you know that what you have is awesome that you just assumed it. So that, you know, confidence is infectious. Okay. So, uh, you know, they're like, okay, well, Thursday, you see what I'm saying? So it says Thursday or Friday, which event can you attend? So is a formula behind this is is a well is psychology behind this i'll say that is a reason why is an event because everybody does a stupid consultation all right like this that's dumb okay like why are you doing one-on-one -on -one consultations get all your no's at once get all your yeses at, at once okay why are you repeating the same thing every day to everybody when you can just talk about it once or you can do it once live and then record it the same way affiliate marketers do it. Agencies don't even think like affiliate marketers. Affiliate marketers, at least they get that. I know that they're not owners or nothing, but at least they understand their time is more valuable. So I am, I, it does two things. When I uh, talk about an event, it makes it seem larger, larger of more importance. And an event sounds better if, you know, I'm talking about 50 plus other agencies, like who want to get on the phone with 50 agencies or 50 local businesses? You guys are filling your booking calendars up. Let me show you what my booking calendar looks like. Uh, profit, positioning, no, 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 agency. Where is my booking calendar? I forgot what the name of my damn booking calendar is. It is, okay, here it is, agency to partner. Okay, so this is the event where I show you how to become a partner of local businesses and make way more versus being a, a having them as a client, okay? Like you want to like become part of every single transaction, like infiltrate the system. You don't want to just be a freaking agency owner and they just be your client. So as you can see, on my calendar, look, is is there? Uh, we got Thursday right here, and it just has two time slots: twelve thirty in the afternoon, and then five thirty p.m. Then we skip to the next month. So look, only have Thursdays and Fridays open. Why? Because I got a nine to five job. Hell no, no. <laughs> it's because we run events. We do just what the affiliate marketers do. Affiliate marketers spend all week running ads. They spend all week scraping lists. They spend all week doing outreach and they send all of those people on that list to an event at the end of the week or at least at least at the, if you do got to do it daily, guys, at least do one event a day. Like everybody that does answer back to your prospect. And right now is what? Uh, 542 in the morning. You guys, can you see my, my time? Uh, hold on. Yeah, it's 5.42 in the morning. So, yeah, none of these people are up yet. I get up at like 2, 3 sometimes. Uh, but anyway, like, dog, like, <laughs> you know, if you're going to talk to people daily, at least do it all at once. So when you do your prospect and do your prospect in early morning, right? But I have an affiliate army, right? You want to teach them to do the same thing as well so that they can spend their time, effort, money, budgets, skills, all of that stuff, driving leads and sales to you. But I wanted to show you guys how to do it, right? Before you even outsource it to VAs, it's a formula if you want to get real good results, guys. So recap. Okay, step one, show them visuals, images, or videos, okay? That will inspire curiosity. It will hit them with, you know, a feeling, a feeling of familiarity, or something depending on the the uh, images or videos that you use and it will encourage them to read longer scripts all right step number two at the beginning of the subject lines and dms name drop direct competitor or similar famous brand so if this is a car dealership uh find out who the uh, most popular car dealership is in the city if this is a restaurant find out what type of restaurant is a Mexican restaurant. Cool. All right. So you use the other Mexican restaurant against them. Okay. Did you know that Casa Gallardo across town gets 15 more customers per day than you? And they have a habit of making those new customers become regular customers. I have insights on their strategies. 
what time are we have Wednesday and Thursday available at 3 p.m. Which day works best for you for 30 minutes? Boom. Like, dog, I just freestyled that off the top of my head because there's formulas to this. Name drop. Nobody likes to be second place. Use that against them. Nobody likes to miss out. Use that against them, right? If you just reach out to them and talking about the benefits of what you got and all of that, they don't really care. But if you let them know that they're behind other people, <laughs> they care about that because no, despite what people say and how humble they try to pretend to be, nobody got in business to be mediocre. We all want to dominate. It's just part of our nature and it's scriptural. So you name drop competitors and famous brands do all of this stuff in combination and it will allow you to create longer scripts you can do longer scripts if they're impactful but if you just like trying to rush through stuff then yeah your your, your script should be like two three sentences max right <laughs> but then it has no feeling it's cold literally like a cold message think about it if you get on a phone with somebody you don't know that's a cold call and is usually short. But how long can you sit on the phone and chit chat with a friend? A friend you haven't seen in a while that you went to school with. You end up talking to them for four to eight freaking hours that day without even realizing it. Why? That's a warm or hot call. Do you see the sense? Do you see how much sense it makes? So when you make something familiar to someone, it stops being cold. So we do that with a combination of the imagery. We do that by name dropping uh, people that they might follow or know and famous brands. And then we do that by talking about other people that are doing what they do that we are actually working with. Yeah, man. Maybe y'all can attend this event. It'll be awesome for you. Then you'll be able to offer uh, stuff like what I'm talking about. Right. I'll show you guys how to offer the bank in a box for 17K to a local business. Uh, we're not just building a platform. The platforms are actually cheap to clone out. What we do in this is the gold. All right. Like how we set this up for the local business. That's the goal behind it. That's why we can charge 17K. Same thing with the affiliate army. The platform matters not. Anybody can clone out the platforms. It's how we're helping them to recruit this 250 plus person trained affiliate army, you understand, and helping them leverage them. So if you guys want to be able to offer that type of stuff, like we have this uh, affiliate army course where people can like learn how to do it themselves instead of paying the 15K option or whatever, then you can just go ahead and text me DIY army if you want to. Um, yeah, because most people can't afford this, which is why we only sell these two down here to actual local businesses. But you can afford something like this. But anyway, sales aside, guys, I showed you how to uh, not fill up your calendar. <laughs> you don't want to fill up your calendar. Quit listening to these so-called gurus. Why would you want to fill up your calendar? Fill up a, a time slot for an event you can have hundreds of thousands of people on those events and talk to them all at once instead of that. Okay, so that was how you make a cold lead into a warm lead instantly.